Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Mario Steve's 99 here, and um, I actually got something in the mail today. So um, uh, I got a package from Amazon. So uh, you'd be wondering, like, Super Mario Steve's, what did you get? Well, let's find out. Now you'd be wondering, like, saying, Super Mario Steve's, why are you not showing us the package? Well, it has my address information on, so I can't show it to you. But I can show you what I got in the parcel. Oh, I actually got something guys with this. Boom! A game gun for Nintendo Switch. So, uh, you asked me like, Super Mario Studios, what the heck is this? Well, it's an accessory for Nintendo Switch. This is for, well, it's compatible with games that use motion control or gyro controls, which the Nintendo Switch has. Um, so, let me open it. And, uh, this is how it is, like, uh, this is a really cool thing, so, um, as you can see here, um, these are the pieces that you use to, um, attach the game gun controller, like, um, we have, uh, this piece here, um, this is, uh, used for, like, the gun, and look, it even has a crosshair on it, like, you know, when I want to aim like this, yeah, stuff like that, and then we got the... The actual gun itself, this piece. So all I gotta do is um, connect them, and that's it. And then you just go. And then look, see, look, it's actually like an actual shotgun. Actually, what's cool about this thing is um, this thing also has a game case here. It's a store about like um, you see, you can store games here. So uh, so as you know, uh, let me try getting the Joy Cons and. Uh, how you can put them in and also the game cards for this thing. So, let me get them. All right guys, so as you know, uh, I brought the Joy-Cons here and uh, for the, the left one, uh, this one here, it goes right up here. So um, this is how you put it, you just put it in like this. Like this and there's a little bar right there that shows us the light. And then the right one here, it goes into uh, this, like this right one goes right here. See the light right there? And see, look, it's like this. And then time for the games. Uh, this thing can only store up to four game cards. So um, I brought my case here, which has the Nintendo Switch games in it. So um, let's start at four, which is, um, we got Luigi Mansion here. So this is how you put it. You just gotta put it like, uh, like let's start like this here. Look at the game card up close, and then look like that. Then uh, we got another one here. You gotta put it like this. See, look, guys. You put the game cards in. And another one here. Uh, it's rotated like this. But as you can see, it just shows us the prongs. I don't know. Can you put it this way? Guys, it's here. Look, my games are stored in here. So, um, for games that uses uh, this gun, like, let's try to see how it works. So, let's try some games out. All right, guys. So, we're about to be testing out uh, motion control games, like um, the ones that go like this or something like that. So, um, let's try the first one, just Super Three All Stars. This thing uses like motion controls, but only for Super Galaxy. Smart Galaxy here. And let's see how you do it. You gotta press R just like you can do this. Oh, look, see how it aims. See, look, it's really cool, guys. How about aiming like that? Like this. Wow. This is pretty strange, guys, to play Super Mario Galaxy with a shotgun. 
Let me try seeing if I can aim it. <laughs> I'm shooting star bits with a gun. Oh, something like that. So yeah, I can't lose the settings, but it works. Let's try another game. Another game we're about to try out with this is Splatoon 3. Now because this game also uses like, um, some type of, sorry guys. Like, um, now because this uses uh, something like, see look, motion aiming like this, and then, uh, like this guy's, Somehow, somehow it actually works. Let's try another one that uses this feature of motion aiming. All right, so um, the next one we're trying out is Super Mario Three World plus Battle of Fury. So, uh, like, see, look, uh, I can't believe to say this. Look, I'm controlling the game while then I do this. It just, uh, it's kind of strange playing a Mario game with a gun. That he's aiming like this. See, look. God, it's kind of really strange. It worked for some reason. Can't believe it. Now, another one that uses this accessory. Next one we're trying is the House of Dead. The House of the Dead remake. With this, baby. Because, you know, because you're using uh, some type of blaster. Like that, see, look, it sounds like an actual shotgun. Yeah, see, look, guys, somehow it works. So, when you come to playing this game, it's often best to get this thing. See, guys, how it works. It just goes, see? Look, it often works. I guess I'll have to censor this. In case I'm going to show it to my classmates, I gotta censor this. See, look, guys, it works. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but it works! It works somehow. So, overall, this is a pretty great accessory for a Nintendo Switch when it comes to playing like motion games like um, this House of the Dead remake. I mean, it is best to use a shotgun accessory like this or any Nintendo Switch accessory that looks like a gun or something like that. I mean, somehow, when it comes to making a pistol like, um, it's kind of hard to make. So, with a shotgun, it's actually pretty cool. Though, I am going to be doing my review on the one that is shaped like an SMG when it comes to my house on February 7th. And then I can show you, like, a comparison video about, like, which one is best to use. I also forgot the verdict, like, this thing is, I mean, sometimes after a few minutes or something, or I don't know, uh, this thing can get kind of tiring to use. So when it comes to playing House of the Dead, the remake, which now has a save state, you can just come back to this, like, a few hours later, or a day, or maybe a few hours, like me. That's not like this. I mean... Yeah, and also, pretty convenient to store some games here on the Nintendo Switch. 
like this one. You smart as you deluxe when I put it right, right in here. You can see the games here. Ah! You can also even see the lights on the Switch. Like, you know, this is the Joy-Con lights you can see here. I mean, overall, this is a pretty cool accessory to have. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. So, remember, I am getting my SMG accessory to review it. And then I can finally do a comparison like this versus the SMG accessory. So, yep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.